Because they're talking about like, we are all adulterers, but look, man, you don't, you don't cost you nothing to ask a woman if she's already got a dude and just move on to the next one, man. All right? Not everybody's going to get King David's level of mercy, man. All right? And it says there, um, I've called and no, uh, because I have called and you refused and I stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but you have set all of my, uh, not all of my counsel or none of my reproof, right? I will laugh at your calamity. So that the Lord said, because you've done all of these things, wherein you, you've ignored everything I've said, right? You've taken no heed to reproof. You've taken no heed, right? To, uh, uh, um, to scripture talks about um, uh, rebuke, reproof, right? With all long suffering. So, you, you know, we come out here, we're not, it's not just teaching, we're also rebuke, we're also reproof. Why? So you don't go off on the left, although you don't go off on the right, man. Right? Because you've said that uh, not all of that, this is what the Lord said. He said, I will laugh. I will also laugh at your calamity. And what's calamity? You know, we've got terrorists coming up on the map. All right? Right? You can't eat. Why? Right? You know, you, you're trying to get somewhere. You can't get there because they got them martial law troops. That's that's going to be a calamity. But it's going to be worse than that because you've got also the implications of the ICBM. You can miss going to come from these different different countries out there like Iran, uh, 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 Russia, China, North Korea. Right? All of those are going to be your calamity, man. And what's, what's the most like going to do when that calamity cometh upon you? He said he's going to laugh. All right. Now let's read that in the book of Isaiah, the fourth chapter. And run about the sixth verse. All right. So this is Hosea 4 and 6. It says, uh, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So because you, re because, because, because you rejected knowledge, Right? The Lord is also going to reject thee. Man. He's also going to reject thee. But see, he goes further than that. Right? It says, um, That thou mayest be no priest unto me. That goes to prove he's talking about Jake. All right? But seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So, in the day of your calamity, guess what? The Most High ain't going to be remembering your children, man. He ain't going to be remembering you. Right? Brother Moe, his prophets out there are going to be in the chariots and going to be laughing at you ass because as, just as the hand of the Most High, as we are the hand of the Most High, stre being, the Most High stre being that the Most High stretched out his hand unto you, right, we also fulfill the part of laughing at your calamity, man. All right. So this is um, back in the book of Proverbs, all right, and um, uh, 27 verse, it says, and when, and when your destruction... And when your destruction, rather more, when, when, and when your fear cometh as a desolation, because your fear, right, the things that you're most afraid of, is going to come by way of a desolation. Case in point, you got guys that, you know, they, they get a decent job. And, you know, oh, oh, you know kudos to you, all right? You get, you, get, you get your house and so on and so forth. Well, okay, well done, all right? But what's going to come after? What's going to come after, right, is the complete, right, destabilization of the economy as you know man. all right how do we know that well it was incepted by way of debt what else can you expect other than a default now when that default comes you're gonna have what's known as hyperinflation you know you're gonna be paying barrels of, of, of federal reserve notes or whether it's uh, uh, um pound sterling or so on and so forth. you're gonna have a barrel of that to try to buy some bread all right that's what's gonna ultimately happen man. all right now you can you know walk around with pride and so on and so forth but that's what happens by way of Having a system based upon what? Of debt and emptiness, right? You're gonna have emptiness back, man. Well that's that's just the that's just the monetary system. That's just a, that's just the monetary system. What about what's happening out there by way of uh, um really the American aggression out there in the Middle East? What they gonna what's gonna be the result of that? Alright? So here it is, you know, you, you got guys, you know, people walking around proud because they think they got you know certain things. Really, their destruction is going to come back like a desolation, man. Right? Because all of that they had, one, in one night, in one hour, is going to become as nothing, man. And then ultimately, by way of the American aggression, it's really going to become desolate, man. It's going to become a waste, waste. It's going to be brought down to the ground. It's going to be raised. <laughs> you know, you know, you've got the word raise and raise, all right? One being to, to raise up and one meaning to bring down, man. Okay? So it says here, back in the um, book of uh, Proverbs, the first chapter on the 26th verse, it says, "I will also, uh, when you, I will also love your calamity when you come, your calamity come, when fear cometh upon you, all right? Because when that, when that true fear, we see, see the more side is bad, because the more side will actually have a guy that's proud and bring the greatest fear upon that person. You gonna get that greatest fear come upon you when you can't feed your kids, all right? 
when you don't know how tomorrow's gonna play out because it's got so much grievances out there and you got certain guys got guns in their houses and you don't even know they had guns in their house so you're gonna have it to where you don't have to sleep in the bathroom man you're gonna have to sleep in the bathroom because you don't know if your, your kid's gonna get hit with a straight man why because of the lack of bread <laughs> all right it's good to talk about i might get that as well in the book of uh Pro eh, second years of the 15th chapter all right because because he says because of the pride of the sea all right all right and it goes on to say right because of a lack of bread men shall invade one another's houses man all right, so all them things that you don't build up within the society, which the, really the most side allows you to build that up. Why well, you got to do it, guys? Don't have certain things. Most side just happen to where you just got the truth, man. Right? But some guys, the most side is allowed to do the thing. That all of that's gonna be as nothing within the twinkling of an eye, man. All right. It says, and your destruction cometh upon you as a whirlwind. Distress and anguish cometh upon you. It says, they shall call upon me, but. Right? So in that breath and in that hour, you're actually going to call upon the most high, man. Well, you're going to remember the name of the most high in that time, man. All right? Because you have no, really, ultimately, the thing about Jake, really, ultimately, they know that, they, they know that they're going up, man. That's what, because they got that guilt, they got that conscience. Esau that hasn't got that conscience. All right? That's why he's the wicked. But Jake's got that conscience. So when that conscience catches up with you in that breath, in, in the hour of your destruction, that's when you're going to be like that, man. I better call upon the most high, but the scripture says, hey, then shall they call upon me, all right, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the most high. Because, so because you didn't choose to fear the most high, that, that, when that destruction comes on you, and you remember the name of the most high, the most high ain't going to have no mercy. All right, in fact, as I've read in the prior, in, in the upper portion of the paragraph, Right, he said he's gonna laugh at you calamity. So that's the ultimate. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's 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 the beginning of your end, man. All right, that's uh, the book of Second Peter's third chapter. And I really wanted to touch on this uh, for what it says in the in, in the top part of it. But really, the whole thing is because I'm gonna bring out the whole thing and then get back into um, John the seventeenth chapter. All right, so this is the book of uh, Second Peter's third chapter. And this is how we know we're in the end times, man. We've got all kind of scoffers, right? Talking all kind of madness, all right? Whether it be of doctrine, whether it be a uh, uh, scoffer, just as, as, as scoffing sake, man. Right? People with a lot of opinion, but they don't actually have no wisdom, man. They haven't, they haven't, they haven't got no, 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 or nothing to act, man. All right? So this is the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, and the uh, third, second, not Proverbs. This is second Peter, the third chapter, and the third verse. It says, Knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lust all right so you're gonna have it to where guys gonna be walking after the desires of their own heart all right because what you're going to say you got lust all right vanity all right pride pride is a big one too man right the feeling of a self-entitlement now look the mosai ain't just gonna leave you out here for dead man <laughs> he's gonna allow you even even with difficulties sometimes he's gonna allow you to do certain things so you can fulfill your own place but the aim of the game man is to get on the chariot, man. And you ain't doing it. When you come out here, you ain't. Look, I ain't out here for, for anybody. I'm out here to get on the chariot. Now the most I will have it to wear. As as a as as a result of that, you're gonna get people that's gonna listen to the word. And they might come into this thing, and now they're gonna be there. And goal is to get themselves on the chariot, man. Oh right, hey, Paul said it best. He said, Paul, can, can I can, can I Paul save anybody? I can't save your ass, man. Now the Lord can do that. That's why his name is Yahushai, which means to save, man. All right, and it says there, uh, they shall come, uh, knowing this first, they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lust, walking after the desires of their own heart, man. You know, I think this, so so therefore it's doctrine, man. We know, we know evidence, we know scriptural backing off of it, but you just go and push that forth. Hey, another doctrine, jumping on IUIC for a second here, another doctrine is that the name of the Messiah is non null and void, man. Or we should call him Jesus Christ. Where's the scriptural back and forth for that, man? Now, 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 do that without wrangling the scriptures, <laughs> okay? Now, there's a challenge for you, all right? So, it says there, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? So, look, guys are going to be like, you know, where's, where's the promise of his coming? My way, <laughs> you know, we we, 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 been, we heard the words, all right? Where's, where's the proof that the Lord's actually going to come back? Because certain guys like Polite, Polite's a good example, because he actually does believe in the most all right? That's why he always gets on who? GMS, man. All right, that's why he always comes up against what? The doctrine of Yahweh by Shimei outside, man. He ain't going up against, you got into where you got all kind of people out there within the Christian community. He ain't going up against them, he's coming up against the actual truth. 
So he knows that there's the most like, but see, he has a spirit of rebellion upon him, man. He has a spirit of rebellion upon him. And what's that going to bring forth? That's going to bring forth his destruction. But really, what's, what's that doing is, is bringing forth the attention, right, and the clarity of the doctrine, man. So to certain gray areas that the Mosai has set forth within the scriptures, he's bringing those gray areas to flourish and to light, right, by using guys like, 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 uh, uh, um, what's this guy, polite? Like guys like Nate. Right? Look, hell, the most I magnified his name by way of Nate, man. <laughs> he really magnified it because you got guys are saying that you know, Jesus is name, but we see we went into the scriptures and, and really the most I, by way of the scriptures and by way of Nate, has added to where the word of his name has been magnified. Now, see, it's going to come into a, a even a, a greater way when he brings forth destruction, man. All right, because the scripture talks about how then, you know, uh, uh, Israel is going to become a praise upon the earth. So, oh, by way of uh, uh, deduction, but yeah, how about Shimia outside? It's gonna become like a fear upon the earth, man. He's gonna, he's gonna return to that, that point where they called him Allah Sudge, my terrible demon like force, man. And that's the most side, man. So this image of you know the Mosai and his son Yahweh outside being polite and and and, 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 and and you know characters that you can mingle with really really when <laughs> really what exemplifies the Mosai is when he was talking to Moses and he said to Moses, look, you can't look up on my face, man. Alright? Oh, or oh, the example when they said, look, where's the power? This being the Israelites that were um, with Moses. He said, show, let, let your power come down and show himself. And he even showed himself, but he kind of, you know, do the setup and all of that, man. And they said, no, we don't want to see that, man. That's too terrible for us, man. See, but that's the power, Yahweh, by Shimei man. All right? It says here, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? All right? And um, for since the fathers have fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So they actually think that everything is the same from the beginning of creation. They actually think that they're in a cyclic, uh, 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 um, they're in a cyclic system that's just it's gonna go on perpetual, man. But when you look at the intricacies, all right, really when the monster opens you out to your eyes out to the scriptures, you actually see that this society is at the precipice of its destruction. We're in a World War Three. The monetary system is null and void. It's non-existent, man. It's gonna be destroyed. All right. And that's, that's, that's the reality of the situation, man. All right, it says, for this, they are willingly ignorant, all right? So, they think they're in that system. And by way of that reasoning in their mind, they actually think, look, I don't have to do that, man. I'm just going I'm, I'm to hang around out here, man. I'll be all right, man. All right, they're willingly ignorant. They willing they they willingly don't take heed to the way of the most side. They, don't, they willingly don't take the reproof of the most side, man. They do that willingly, man, okay? So it says that they willingly are ignorant, right? That by the word of the Most High of heaven were of old, and the earth standing out of all is in waters, all right? Whereby the world that was then being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word are kept in, and reserved unto fire and judgment, and perdition of ungodly men. So what's the society that you see right now is basically the Most High is hastening it, right? For the day of judgment that's going to come by what? By what? It says there, by fire and against judgment of a perdition of ungodly men and we might you know i might get into some scriptures that's pertaining to the destruction in fact i'll go to isaiah the 13th chapter right after this one but i gotta go to um john the 17th chapter and finish that man as pertaining to the elect okay so it says there but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that the one that um one day is as with the most size as a thousand years and a thousand years is one day so you're going to wait all of this is happening all right Esau being in power jake being impoverished and being underneath Esau and, and all of that, man, and catching all kind of hell and so on and so forth, all right? And, you know, it's like an unto a long time to where certain dudes is like, look, man, I'm going to be willingly ignorant, man. I ain't, I ain't going to take heed to that, man. I, I ain't concerned about that, man. I'm going to just go through the system as, you know, play the system and get whatever I can get, all right? That's their, that's their mentality, but really, this is really a short span of time for the most. Like, it's, a, it's, it's a thousand years. Esau ain't even really been in power for a thousand years right now, man. Now he's been in power for you know 500 odd years, you know going back onto the you know the 1500s where you had really the um the last stronghold was Granada I believe off the top of my head, right where you had the uh, the Moors out there within Europe, all right, and that was the last you know that was the last taking down of us and then they sent you know shipped the people over to you know, to over uh, over into the interiors of um, really the people fled into the interiors of West Africa and so on and so forth, all right. And then ultimately, by way of them slave ships, they went out there into the Americas. That was the vast majority, but you still got Jake dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? But see, that's all really hasn't even played off in one day, man. 
in, in the eyes of the Most High. It ain't really played off in, in, in the period that we know within the scriptures as one day. All right, so it says, um, but the Lord, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So they're willingly ignorant. The Most High is gonna have to wait. The destruction gonna play out in a, in a fashion that they don't even, you know, in a time that they even realize. In fact, the scripture says, when they shall think themselves to be in good case, rich coal is gonna be cheap, oil is gonna be cheap. All right. They're going to think, oh, look, we're all right, man. We ain't going to worry about that, man. All right? We ain't going to worry about all of that. All right? They're going to think themselves into be a good case. But the scripture talks about how this destruction is going to come forth as a thief in the night, man. Okay? It's going to come, you're going, it's going to come unexpectedly, man. All right? Now, you can you can have a good guy. Hey, the scripture talks about how your house had didn't even know when the destruction was going to come play. He said, look, only the, only, only the Lord knows, man. Well, I don't even know. And now it's your house side, man. But see, you can get a good indication because the Lord spoke about the good indication that was going to play out. Rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines. Those was going to be the beginnings of sorrows. We've spoken about within the book of Mark 13th chapter, letting you know, know what? The Lord is getting ready to come back, man. Really, the Lord is already on his way back, man. All right? And it says, hey, um, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and elements. So, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. The earth also that are in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then, right, that all things shall be dissolved, what and manner of persons are you all to be in holy conversation and godliness? So, you're supposed to be in a state of, of, of just hastening the day, man. All right? In holy conversation. And that might be, you know, with the Akim, with the brothers, and so on and so forth. Or that might be by way of, you know, getting down with these videos, man. Pushing forth these videos, man. All right, so it says there, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and elements shall melt with a fervent heat, and the works therein shall be burnt up. Seeing all then that these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conversation and godliness? And this is the instruction that he was given, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the uh, coming day of Yahweh, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and elements shall melt with a fervent heat. Those are the things you're supposed to focusing on and he says hey nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth so these and that doesn't mean that the earth is going to be complete straight it actually means just everything that's on the earth the society that you know it the system as you know it, it's going to be taken down man but the new heaven is going to come by way of what us coming into power all right having power over these heathens and letting them build up our thing man that's 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 that's, that's how this new earth is going to come out, man all right. Um, wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blemish. All right. And, and, and that's spoken about really as well within the book of Revelation, the 25th, second chapter on the 25th verse, where it talks about he that endureth unto the end to him shall be given um, power over the nation. So you're looking for a new heaven, a new earth, and all of those good stuff. All right. You're going to be part of that number that's going to be uh, involved, you know, with the with the hastening, with the, with the endurance. This is actually an endurance test, not a speed test. You got guys are coming in and just want to, sh you know, skate all over the basics and, 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 and get right up into the um, into so called, you know, the harder things. But really, what happens is they just stumble and fall, man. All right. This is like, I mean, this is the you know greatest knowledge that you got. Right now, if you go into any realm of understanding, you start with what? You start with the basics, man, and then you add on to the basics, man. You take maths for example, because math comes from the Hebrew word of math, meaning truth. Take maths, all right? You can't do calculus, you can't do addition, all right? You can't do surface integrals, you can't do calculus. It's all, you start from the foundation and you build up. And that's the same thing with the truth, even on a greater level, right? You start with the foundation, you understand the basics, right? You know those basics to where you can recite those basics. It's not just about reciting them. You know, word for word, because you got you know human concordances, but that doesn't mean you understand the scriptures. It's about getting and absorbing that information, and right, really knowing what that means, and that takes time, man. Going back onto what I was saying, talking about this is an endurance thing more than it is a, 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 a you know a sprint, man. Okay. Now let me get onto um back into the book of John, the seventeenth chapter, and I think I was around about the ninth verse. So this is John uh, 17 and 9. So it says, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. So even Yahweh said, when he came on the scene, 
He said, I, I pray, and this is not even, this is not even talking about the whole world as in the whole inhabited earth. This is talking about the world of Israel, man. What's the proof of that? Um, um, I believe it's, it's world without end. So that's in the book of Isaiah. I think Isaiah, the 45th chapter on the 17th verse, I think. Let me find that. In fact. That goes to prove that Israel is likened unto a world of its own, man. And that, and that really is an easy understanding. Yeah, Isaiah 45 and 17. That's really an easy understanding because you got the football world. The football world is different from the basketball world and the sports world is different from, 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 from the uh, monetary world and so on and so forth, man. And so the most I like an Israel as a unit, as, 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 as one thing, as being what? As a, as a world of its own, man. All right, and here's the proof of that. This is the book of Isaiah, the 17th, Isaiah, the 45th chapter, and the 17th verse. It says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So we're going to be saved in the Lord, man. All right, in fact, Isaiah, the 14th chapter says, Ultimately, on all of these things come to play, when all of these things come to pass, Israel's still going to be saved, man. The Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and all Israel dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth are still going to be, you know, your rulers, your masters, okay? All right, we're still gonna be your dominant, dominant force up with the lion, the lion within the wilderness, man. That's gonna be us, man. All right, and in the rest of the evening, we read the rest of it. You hear how they gonna be our subjects? But it goes on to say Esau is gonna be even in a worse case than that because he's gonna be brought down uh, to the grave, man. All right. So this is in uh, uh, Isaiah the forty-fifth chapter, seventeen verse. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation; shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So when you know, the Lord was talking here in the book of um, John the 17th chapter on the 9th verse saying, uh, um, I pray for the world. He was talking about the world of Israel, not even these different heathen. Because why? Because they weren't even a question. What's the proof of that? Psalms 149th chapter on the 17th verse. Man. Okay. They weren't even they weren't even part of the question, man. All right. See, but back then it was well known. But right now you got it to where you got a lot of disinformation going out there. How the Lord's going to come and say,